Welcome back to the National Hockey League Combine here on Leafs Today. In behind us, the young stars going through their paces physically, hoping to move up and perhaps enhance their value come draft time in Montreal. Certainly at the top of that list, the consensus number one, John Tavares, who over the course of the last few years has been a very patient man waiting for this time to finally happen. You can be considered a, a very patient young man, given how long it's taken to get to this point in time and as to where your development was at a young age, and now it's finally here. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, still, uh, still a few more weeks to go, so uh, you know, starting to get a little bit more anxious day by day, and, and uh, especially being here at the combine now, starting to trying to get a feel for things and, and what could happen. So um, it's, uh, it's been a great journey so far, and uh, I'm very excited for the, for the moment and the opportunity. The Ontario Hockey League had the top four picks in the draft last year, and you're in the position to maybe be the third consecutive first overall out of this group. Have you talked to Stamkos, Kane, or any of those guys for any advice that uh, they might have been able to give you, given your perspective? Um, you know, I talked to Stephen a little bit at the beginning of the year just about uh, how to handle things and, uh, you know, just dealing with, uh, with a lot and a lot more on your plate. So, um, you know, I haven't talked to them uh, recently, but... Um, you know, they've had some pretty uh, pretty busy seasons as well uh, as mine. So, But uh, Stephen helped me out definitely a little bit uh, uh, earlier this season to uh, get me ready. Uh, we know what you can do on the ice. Uh, you've got to be impressed with how you developed mentally over the last few years and with what's been on your plate in London and, and the national program here. And the championship in Ottawa, do you see yourself being a lot mentally stronger than maybe you were four years ago? For sure. I mean, four years ago, I was 14 okay. years old and... Yeah. Uh, you know, went through went through a lot of things for the first time. You know, leaving uh, away from home, practicing and skating every day, and dealing with the media a lot more. So, um, you know, been go- been going through that handle the best I can. And obviously, there's a lot of things I like to change, but I've had some uh, you know great memories and, and done some good things as well. But uh, still young and still learning a lot, and hoping to improve even more. You brought up a good point. Not many of us realize that uh, you've left home, and most kids get to grow up with their parents. You've been billeted uh, for that part, and that's a sacrifice, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think it makes you really appreciate your family members, uh, my sisters and, and my two parents uh, uh, even more. So, um, you know, it, it helped you mature a, a lot quicker and uh, understand, uh, you know, what my sacrif- what I'm sacrificing to play this game. And, and um, you know, I certainly wouldn't have traded anything for it. Has the physical end of this here been compromised as, as you get better? I know you've had a few aches and pains following the end of the season. How are you? Uh, I'm getting much better. I'm pretty close to 100% again. And, um, I mean, uh, tried to approach things uh, with recovery uh, as if there wasn't a calm mind. So, um, you know, we'll have a good day of testing today, and hopefully I do well, and uh, I've been looking forward to this. And while John Tavares is the consensus number one pick come draft time in Montreal, we've got to be very impressed with Zach Cassian of the Peterborough Peets, a power forward who in January was ranked around 24th or 25th. He is now scheduled to go somewhere between 10 and 15, and one has to wonder what he did to get himself into this perspective and ready for a very nice night come Friday evening in Montreal draft time at the end of June. What uh, transpired from your midterm evaluations to where you are now to, to see you jump so rapidly as far as central scouting is concerned? How do you, how do you look back on it? I think uh, I didn't really think about it too much. Uh, midseason rankings is obviously earlier in the year. Uh, you obviously want to have your highest ranking at the at the end. You never really want to drop, but uh, I try not to think about it. I just try to go out there every night and play my game and, and do what, what I do to try to make myself successful. You had a great start to the season, didn't you? I think 10 points in your first 11 games. Uh, how important was that in terms of getting your confidence going, and uh, why did it go so well offensively for you? Yeah, for sure. Confidence is huge at, at any level. Uh, to get those points going earlier on in the year, it's it makes you relax a bit, and, and you can focus more on your, just just going out there and playing. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, it kickstart my year pretty well, and, and it really went from there. And I kind of uh, rode that high all year. How do you grade uh, the ability to drive to the net? Is that a skill set? Is that just pure guts and courage? Uh, because you do it often. I think it's a matter of both. It's um, it's willing to go to the net and, and take the punishment to, to score the dirty goals, but it's also a part of my game, which I have to do to, to, to be successful. You didn't hesitate uh, in terms of mixing it up physically. Uh, was this you going into the season in terms of your draft year? Has this always been a part of your personality, do you, do you think? I wouldn't consider it my personality. <laughs> I'm not, game plan, maybe. Yeah, yeah, game style for sure. Yeah. I need I need to be physical and, and let people, I'm, when I'm out there, uh, to watch out. That's my style, and if I'm not doing that, then uh, I'm not as, as a effective. You've been compared to Milan Lucic. Uh, I guess you'd take that as a compliment. Uh, do you see any similarities in the way he plays the game and the way you play it? 
Yeah, I see similarities. Obviously, he, he's in the NHL at such a young age, and I think he plays that power forward role to a key. It's, it's obviously a great name to, to be named after, but uh, I have a lot of work to do to, to get there still. How's your skating, and where do you see it uh, having to be to get yourself to that next level? Uh, I think it's all right. Obviously, it's one of the main, main things I need to work on to make it to the next level. Obviously, watching the NHL playoffs, it's so fast, and the transition's so quick. So um, it has to go into my workouts this summer, uh, speed, track work, plyometrics, all that stuff to, to get ready for next season and improve my speed. And Zach had a great year, 24 goals in 61 games played, 63 points, and again, figuring to go anywhere between 10 to 15 in Montreal. Coming up, we'll talk to a couple of American players figuring to go very highly in the draft as well. You're watching Leafs today. We'll be back with more in just a moment.